So now I'm going to quickly take you through how Revoice Pro looks in um, Pro Tools using ARA technology. Usually I'd take a listen and I've done a quick mix on this, but um, I take a listen and make a decision about how I want to process the vocal vocals. Um, and almost always I'll be taking it into Revoice Pro and the old method of transferring into Revoice would be to select the audio of each channel and transfer it in using a uh, Revoice Pro Link Audio Suite plugin. Whereas now with the beauty of ARA, we can transfer all of our vocals into Revoice in one swift go. And the way we do that is we pick Revoice Pro Link here, and then Revoice Pro Link ARA tells us that Revoice Pro is not currently running, and there's a handy button here for that. So we tell it to start, and then we can hit Capture Audio. If we switch to Revoice Pro, as you can see, it's all in here. All labeled the same as it was in my Pro Tools session. So essentially, like, Revoice Pro now is just a duplicate of my Pro Tools session in terms of how I have my vocals laid out. And as I was saying earlier, um, I like to process things in sections so I can utilize the process groups to really like tweak to make things perfect for that section. So for example, I would select, um, start to make my, my chorus process group. So I'd select my lead, uh, I'd then select playback range and I go, I start a new match. I then get this process window um, where it asks me what my guide track is, which it already knows is my chorus lead vocal. And it's in this window here, this is where I load in all the dub tracks, all the, all the tracks that I want characteristics of this audio to be passed into. Um, so I'm just going to select the rest of my chorus. And it's amazing that it takes the names from my Pro Tools session because I named that specifically so it, it lines up in this order. So I can add them as my dub tracks. I'm going to pick a preset, a factory preset. One I like to start with um, is tight timing and pitch match only unison. I'll probably tweak it as soon as it's created um, but that's what I like to start with and I'm going to add a new process group and then you create new process and what it's going to do is apply a process to the dub tracks from data it's gathered from the lead this process is now already on here it's just the two live harmoniously together and natively. So that process is now part of these vocals. No transferring back out. No, I, I used to have to like highlight each one, tab back to Pro Tools, use the Audio Suite plugin to render out. No, it's all, it's all already there. And now if I want to go and start tweaking my process group, so this is the process group for the chorus. Um, and I might go, you know what, actually, I don't want to make it crazy tight. I might just loosen off the timing a little bit. Uh, and you can see this red cogwheel here that turns. That's Revoice Pro re-rendering um, my new options. So I can do, I can tweak to my heart's content. I can be like, right, I'm just going to make it a tiny bit more loose. Um, I don't want the pitch matching to be quite as tight as it is. Um, Another amazing, fairly new feature to Revoice Pro is the smart pitch mode, where you can get the pitch matching to the lead to match just the unison. So it will analyze your dub tracks. Anything that's in unison with the lead, it will match in terms of tuning. But you also have got this amazing option, which is match unison and tune non-unison. Um, so anything that's not matching the lead in terms of pitch, it will know to ignore it and not match it, but tune it to its nearest note, um, which is amazing. Um, and another thing I like to use on occasion is level matching. So you, I, I tend to like to keep the dubs average level, but you can make it so the volume of your dub tracks is 
similar to your lead. And you, again, you can set tolerances, you can tweak and tweak and tweak. But what's amazing is every time I move this, the cogwheel is turning, it's updating in Revoice Pro, and then it already exists in Pro Tools. Um, and that is just so amazingly fast. And just, in my opinion, just amazing. I've spent <laughs> years and years doing the process of taking it in and taking it back out. And it's just such a, it's just a time saver. And also, you know, things like that. Anyway, you can make the process simpler means you can be more creative. So that's Revoice Pro in Pro Tools ARA. I'm super excited to make it a part of my everyday workflow. Speeds up everything massively. And that means I can spend time concentrating on mixing and being creative. Uh, and thank you to Synchro Arts for getting um, these amazing technologies into Pro Tools as part of their AOA technology. I'm looking forward to using it. Mm -hmm.